Ron Sprankle, uh, Korea, uh, United States Marine Corps, uh, 1951 to 54, Korea. One of my favorite monuments here is the Lincoln Memorial because it it can be both most simplistic and grandiose at the same time. If you look at it, it's a column of marble and granite with a man seated and it's it's all inspiring and that's all it is. There's no frills to it. It's massive but plain. Okay, my name is Thomas W. Clark. I go by Wally, which is my middle name, Wallace. I served in World War II with General Patton's Third Army. I was in the 26th Infantry Division, which was a National Guard from New England. I was in Company D, the 101st Infantry Division. I was in the 2nd Platoon. I was machine gun sergeant, heavy machine gun. I tell you, there's nothing like going across a field, an open field, climbing through a a, a stream about six feet deep up to your neck uh -huh. and the goddamn anti-aircraft guns shooting with you, at you. And the thing was that a lot of the infantry guys got hurt and our whole squad didn't get touched. We just pure luck. Oh yeah, the, the, uh, the, the, that day I got hit, we were taking a guy back and the second time the shells came in, we all heard them. So we had a chance to dive into ditches, you know. And like I say, I was fast and light and young and I got in the ditch first. I thought I got I came in on top of you. Oh yeah, these two guys, there was about 10 of us in, the, in each side of the road and we all dove into the ditch. Years later I was playing baseball in Baltimore and afterwards we went down, we had a few drinks and I was talking to the guys on the other team and the, the one guy knew this fellow's wife real well. He said he was killed. I said, hell yeah, he saved me. He was laying on top of me. He just walked about, four of them, I guess, walked about a half a mile carrying this wounded guy out, uh -huh. and, he, and then he died. Took him off the stretcher, and then you could hear the 88s coming in. Bud said there was a guy from York here on panel 13. Yeah. Did you find him? Did you find him? Yeah. My wife's nephew is named there. Where is he? Right here. Was he from York or was he from York or Redline? There's a lot of smelters in Redline. His name's Charles E. Smelter. Uh, he is my wife's nephew, and he was killed just shortly before he was ready to come home. And he came home in a bag. Yep. He was York, you're right, he lived just off Prospect Street. I guess he was about 19 or 20 then at the most.